Yeah, first half, I mean, it, it's one of those when you had, you know, first game of the year, you don't really truly know what it's going to look like, especially, you know, we're starting three sophomores and two juniors, so a lot of youth out there, a lot of guys playing in new roles uh, than what they had last year. Uh, shot 61-3 in the first half against Maryville, who's a really good team, who's a, a borderline NCAA tournament team, and they're number 23 in the country, so could not have been more pleased. And in some instances, surprised. I mean, you shoot 61-3 against one of the better defensive teams in the South, that's surprising. Second half, we, we came out with, with not great energy, and, and we knew it. We knew it. I mean, our guys know not to respond that way. It happened. Uh, but to their credit, to our credit, uh, we came back and we battled. And we just hit a bunch of tough shots. Art Walker uh, in the first half, especially against their zone, was key. Uh, Art had a really, really good performance for us. Jacob Spitzer, low block in the first half. So when those two guys score, and then you have Perry doing his thing, and Tucker hit some threes, uh, Jared, Jared's been playing really well and had a good shooting night. So just a lot of uh, – just a – just a really good win for us. And let's be honest, we had a couple of really good fortune plays, like the one, they were in the 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, they deflected the ball, ball hits the backboard, goes right to Jacob Bates, he lays it in. I mean, hey, sometimes sometimes it's your night, it was our night tonight. We did a heck of a job in press break against Kentucky, so we worked all week long about with that. So when we do get pressed, I mean, you know, Bailey can handle, Jerry can handle, Tucker can handle, Perry can handle, uh, Dawson and Tom can handle, Jacob Bates on the, uh, uh, in the post can handle it. So uh, we just, uh, we've, we've got good personnel. It's, it's tough to press us. The biggest thing for the game, I told them, you know, we, we've shown we can play with a lot of courage. You know, the Kentucky game showed that. Uh, the handover scrimmage kind of showed that we had, need to be more disciplined, more physical. Uh, so when you play really good teams, you learn your lessons. And so we learned that lesson. And tonight, that's a very, uh, that's a very physical team. And Colton Oaks is physical. Tanner Spalding is physical. And they got guards that can drive it. Uh, so our guys just matched. You know, they just embraced the challenge of, hey, Maryville's going to try to come in here and out physically. And our guys didn't let it happen. Uh, just saw a whole lot of gaps. I mean, <clears throat> we got to play them last year, and I mean, they had they had me pretty good scouted out a little. But uh, the guys set good screens, Spitz, Bates, Schmucker, they set some really good screens, opened up some gaps. Our shooters were, Tucker was in the corner, so they were staying attached to him because, I mean, he can get hot anytime. So a lot of gaps were opening up, and then, I mean, I've worked on the mid range a whole lot, so that shot came in a little when I needed it to. I would definitely say talking. We weren't as big as talking as we were last year as we are now, but, uh, I mean, we're, we're a great talking team now. And then just our physicality was great. We, we rebounded. I mean, We've never been a great rebound team. We're not the biggest guys, but I mean, we go out, we box out, we rebound, and it just all worked out tonight. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I think they said we beat them five years in a row, so I mean, I really don't want that to stop. So I mean, hopefully we can just keep the momentum going and just move on and get another win. All right, Perry, that's all I got. <laughs> no problem.